Hi, my name is Glenn from Sofa Support, and today we'll be using Process Monitor to capture system events. Process Monitor is a free tool from Windows System Terminals which monitors and displays all file system activity on a Microsoft Windows operating system in a real time. If you have been asked by Sophos Technical Support to gather a Process Monitor log, follow the instructions on this video and less specified, gather a normal Process Monitor log. If this video resolves your issue, give us a thumbs up on TechVids or like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. There are two ways on gathering Process Monitor logs. First, gathering a normal Process Monitor log, and second, gathering a boot Process Monitor log. Let's proceed first on gathering normal Process Monitor logs. Download Process Monitor from Microsoft TechNet. You can download them on TechNet article on below link description. Extract the contents of the file processmonitor.zip and archive to your desktop. Open Process Monitor folder and run Procmon AXE as an administrator. Process Monitor will begin logging from the moment it starts running. To stop this, click the capture icon or simply hit Ctrl plus E on your keyboard. Clear the events that Process Monitor recorded by hitting Clear tab or simply hitting Ctrl X on your keyboard. When you are ready to recreate the issue or scenario as detailed by Sophos Technical Support, click the capture icon to begin the logging. On the options above, click filter and ensure that enable advanced output is selected. Once you have recreated the issue or scenario, click capture icon to stop the logging. Click the save icon and the following dialog will be displayed. Ensure that you have selected all events and that you have saved the file in the native PML file format. Once done, Close Process Monitoring tool. Compress and archive the PML file and send the archive to Sophos Technical Support. Please note, if the file is smaller than your email attached file size limit, email us the file as a response in your open support case. If the file is smaller than 30 MB, you can upload the file via our website as a sample submission. Ensure you enter your case reference number if available. The link to upload the sample submission is in the video description. If the file is larger than 30 MB, you can request an FTP credential from our Sophos Technical Support Agent. This will allow you to upload the file directly to our servers. The link to the KBA showing the steps to configure your FTP client is in the video descriptions. Now, let's talk the second option about gathering a boot process monitoring log. Just like those few steps we did upon gathering normal process monitor log, extract the content of processmonitor.zip and run procmonexe as an administrator. On the boot tabs, click Options and select Enable Boot Logging. You will be presented with the following dialog. Ensure that profiling events are generated every second. On the options above, click Filter and ensure that Enable Advanced Output is selected. Reboot the machine and recreate the issue that you are facing or the scenario as detailed by cell phone technical support. Once back at the Windows desktop, run Procmon AXE. Upon opening Procmon AXE, we will be presented with the following dialog. Click Yes and save the log file. Then close Process Monitoring tool. Compress and archive the PML file. Then send the .zip archive to Sophos Technical Support via the same steps mentioned for the regular capture. Hope this video is useful. Let us know by giving us a thumbs up on TechVeds or like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Check out the documentation for this video in the video description and go to tickveds.sofos.com for more great videos like this one. For more assistance, view and post questions on community.sofos.com. Thanks for watching. Take care.